These are temporary shelters, you see, this is the best you can do. And uh, the next thing that is more important is the relocation. And um, uh, I think you have already seen some of the images. So the, it's more kind of planned. So you are having more kind of, you, you have a capacity of about 100,000, maybe 150,000 to be relocated there. So those are structured, which all the community services being placed up there. So that is very important. And this is how we are trying to help them, you know, at least for the, for the time to, to be settled up here. As you can see, you know, there are fields up here, specially allocated so that the kids can play, you know, about 400,000. Um, kids are uh, in, amongst all the re refugees. I think about 1.2 million out of those 400,000 400, is kids. So we also need to do a lot more for the kids and not only just sitting up there but rather also provide education and that's a very important factor. Then again you can see all of these huts and uh, shops basically they are kind of operated by the Rohingya population itself. So that is also a way that they are within their community they are gen generating income. But we need to maybe do something more in the near future to address the unemployment issue for the youth. Because those are the ones who are much more vulnerable to extreme ideologies and so forth. Because they have seen and in their own eyes they have seen the atrocities being done. So recognize those atrocities that genocide, take actions against those who have done it. And at the same time repatriation is the most, most important issue. And the international community has to come forth in making sure the rightful place and rightful owners of those lands are being put back to them. So this is what's our message to the international community. The most important thing is um, relocating them back to their homeland. They need to feel safe and secure. So the UN Charter, uh, the UN mandate has to be there. They should be leading uh, the resettlement. They should be reading the rebuild, rebuilding their own communities which has been displaced. So it is the UN along with the international communities and the developing partners who should actually initiate in a massive scale in, a, in, in the way that they have all contributed here as well. But this is a very temporary you know, solution. This is not a permanent solution. So I guess the most important part, as I am always saying, generating awareness you know, and repatriation. An international community has to take responsibility. This is not a problem for Bangladesh alone, this is the problem for the world itself.